Today we begin our third season in the Premier League with Salford, and for the first time ever, we aren't predicted to be relegated. I mean, we're predicted to finish just outside of the relegation zone, but this is baby steps, this is a move in the right direction. Hey guys, and welcome back to the 19th episode of the FM21 Salford in the Prem Save, where today we are playing our first two games of the new Premier League season, where we are facing Manchester United and Everton. They haven't exactly dealt us a kind card based off where they finished last year in the table, 6th place and 2nd place. Let's not expect an amazing flying start, but we have had a solid transfer window and we are going to jump into the start of the season, even if it is going to be a disappointing one. And to celebrate that, make sure that you have subscribed to this channel, like this video if you are enjoying the series so far. Can we get 10 likes today? That would be amazing. I would just like to quickly say, if you have not subscribed to the channel already, please do it. I am currently just trying to get this channel to, you know, close to a thousand subscribers so that potentially we can be monetized because I am very, very close to that view threshold, but we're miles away for subscribers. So if you can tell anyone to subscribe to this channel, even if they're not going to watch it, please, please, please just try and help us gain and uh, get closer to that a thousand mark. I know we're ages away. I know that's very ambitious, but I love this channel. I love making t content for you guys. And if we could, you know, somehow get closer to that target, I'll, it will certainly motivate me to put more time and probably more money into this channel. But for now, we are focusing on the league games at hand. And, and it has been a pretty successful transfer window. We'll quickly just give you a wee rundown on the signings. Uh, these are the signings. That was a that was a solid rundown. Go back and watch the last episode, the transfer special. If you aren't sure who we brought in, definitely watch it. Even if you are sure, because it's 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 quite important for you to be be up to date with the channel and how the how the save is going. This is going to be the lineup that we use for the first game of the season, and I don't see any reason to be dilly dallying around. We're going to jump into it. We're using the same tactic that served us very well near the end of the last season. It's it's sort of a, a tweak on the Gagan press. It's just got a bit more of a, a, a Salford vibe, I guess you could say. We have got a starting lineup of Perry, Silver, Edgehill, Yanez, uh, Graven Birch, Maribel, uh, Hedgy. It's not that hard to say, but it always trips me up. There's two J's. It is confusing. Benjamin, Braithwaite, Gama, and Vasquez with a couple of debutants in there, including Yanez and Hadji. Who else? I feel, like, I feel like there's more. Benjamin, there we go. And on the bench, we've got uh, Yeras Dov, who is potentially going to make his debut as well today. And then a couple of other new signings in and around the sort of reserve area. Carter hopefully will be in there very soon. Uh, this man probably deserves to be in some sort of a, a a go in the squad but even a player that we played a lot last year uh angu is not finding his way into the starting lineup today so he's he's probably not too upset about the fact that he's not in the lineup today but without any more talking any more distractions we're going to jump into the first game of the entire season and just really hope that we come away with some sort of a result we finished the season last year amazingly so if we can continue exactly where we last left off, maybe we could get a point. That's that's really the goal at this point in time. You can see it is really deep into the save with all of the regions that we do have, but this Manchester United side has a couple more real players than we do. I mean, we're certainly a younger orientated squad, a lot of wonder kids in there, and hopefully they do do us an amazing job this season, and early on we do have an opportunity, I'm hoping that it's going up, no, okay, it's not going our way, is it, it's, it's, it's already Rashford breaking forward, I can, I can see what's going to happen, I'd just like to highlight the fact that we have no fans in the, we've conceded within 30 seconds, this is the worst start to the season, no one's watching, we're in our new stadium, for the first time and, and no one's come to watch why are there bins there this is why no one's come to watch because it bins why is there bins at our new stadium you can right yeah, that is such a oh gosh why is there bins right there it's not a good vibe no one is here is anyone in it no one's in attendance what's going on did COVID hit in football manager is this a Something I've missed. I don't. I don't understand what is going on with this new stadium. But I'm, I'm just hoping it doesn't 
continue like this because our finances are not going to survive otherwise. Garm is on the ball, playing it back to Maribel. We could be hitting straight back at them as Graven Birch goes for a shot. There's, there's legitimately no one in the stands. This is more important than the fact that we're losing to Manchester United right now. Why is there no one in the stands? How can I tell? Is there like, is there a way that I can actually check? Because, I don't know, maybe the game's glitching and not actually showing fans. But, oh, I think I think I saw some people down there. Maybe, maybe they're all hiding on the other side. Who knows? Who knows? They're coming away with another opportunity, though. Am I, am I on key highlights? I, I'm, I'm on key highlights. They're throwing goal. They've scored again. This new tactic is... That's, this, I swear this worked last season. 2-0 oh, after four minutes. To be fair, we had a chance within those first four minutes. But they're coming at us again. If we can see it again... It's gone just over the bar, but it's, it's certainly not a good start to the season, to say the least. At the moment, what? Okay, no, no, no. Now, now, it's, now it's getting. Is, are they going to get red cut? This is the most action-packed first eight minutes of any Premier League games of all time. But we could be coming back into it now if we play our cards right. You know, keep possession of the ball. Don't let them score any more opportunities. Eleven minutes gone, and we've had about as many opportunities we as we have in about three games. So it's. It's an action-packed one. You can't complain about that. Too bad there's no one here to enjoy it. Havertz on the ball playing it over. But we do intercept and we could be on a counter... Nah, okay. Not, not exactly a, a riveting great through ball there. But we could, we could pick it back up in a second. One Basaka on the ball. Come on, someone get it. They've, they've come in with a heating. They're a man down and they're still attacking us. I mean, they're... <laughs> nah, nah, nah. This is, this is a joke now. Like, I'm, I'm happy to see chances... But what, why is there so many chances? It is, And they're all going Manchester United's way. They're a man down, and we're getting absolutely peppered. Like, pepper and salted at this point. It's ridiculous. Can we have a minute to breathe, just to refocus? They've got more shots. How are they getting more shots? Okay, no, we're, re we're reconsidering this tactic already, because this is not working at this current point in time. We're going to try passing shorter. Be, be slightly more intelligent on the ball, play with a positive approach, see if that helps us retain position, create opportunities. We have an extra man. Like let's, I know I've said that about seven times already, but that, that is something we need to acknowledge. You know, I, My indoor football team just won the final because we had an extra man. It, it, I know it does a difference, and I will admit we scored in the, the, the 10 seconds to go to... To equalise, but it's it was it was either way a win to win. And how was that not gone in? I'm focused on my indoor football games, and we're scrambling shots, trying to get into the back of the net against Manchester United when they have a man down. It's 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 not been a, a, an amazing start to the season for us, but it's it's still only been half an hour. I feel like I've I've played about seven games in this episode already with the stress levels and how much has gone down. We're we're on the attack. Why are you passing it there? What? Who is there? We don't have wingers here, chill. Like, what's going through your mind? We never wear black either. I think we do actually wear black. To be fair to him, I mean, we're we're definitely wearing red today though. So there shouldn't be too much confusion. They've come in with a shot again. Vasquez saves it though. He's not exactly covering himself in glory today, even though he has had a 7.0 rating. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing too much I'm loving from any of the boys at this current point in time. Five minutes to go until half time, not including additional time. At, at least we're not at the bottom of the table as things do. Wow, we're just giving the ball away to them every five seconds. Rain is now running at us. It's going to be another chance for Manchester United, and I wouldn't be surprised if they scored before half time. They don't. But it's yeah, it's it's a it's an interesting one to say the least. We've got an XG of one point two one to be fair, so we're not exactly completely out of this game. But we're I'll say it again, we we're a man up here. We we should be doing better than this, and I'm hoping that this chance is going to display that quality that I know we do have. It's not the best ball lever from Perry, and they clear it long, and we get it though. That's that's positive. I was ex very much expecting them to have a one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, but Gravenberch is on the ball, playing it back to Hajizu, who was on his debut today. Back to Gravenberch, Perry. It's a very cool, calm and collected save by the Manchester United goalkeeper. Didn't even make it look dramatic, you know, just, just calmly hold, held on to the ball. D don't, don't flatter our players or anything like that, don't worry about it. Edge Hill, our captain, strong goal. 
I feel like that that already sums up what's going to happen in the second half. I think we might have a few more opportunities, but I don't think many are going to find the back of the net if we're shooting like that. He tries to go around the goalkeeper. It doesn't quite work. There's so many chances in this game. I've checked already that we're on key highlights. I'm, I'm very tempted to check again. How are they getting through? Why are there so many people up? And they've scored again. They're a man down. What is going on? I know it's Manchester United, but come on. Like, they're a man down. And we've had about six opportunities to score. And then they just get a one-on-one, -on -one, chip the goalkeeper. What is... Nah, we need Gasama back, clearly. We're going to bring Voigt on for Perry. And we're going to take off Gama because he's looking tired, apparently. And uh, bring Patty on in that left-hand side. Hopefully, we can switch this game around. I mean, I'm not expecting any sort of points in this game anymore. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a horrendous game for everyone involved and. In. Um, but maybe it is a good thing that no one's watching. Like, they're through again. What is going on? It's just suddenly a momentum switch. We were doing really well in the first half of that second half. Looked like maybe we could get back into the game. But now they definitely have more opportunities. And I just want to see us get another chance. Because, yeah, we need that momentum to switch back our way. Mirabal is on the ball right now, though. And uh, Yanez is trying to play at 40, finds Fabio Silva, who really should be further up. I mean, you're a striker, mate. And that is such a P-roll of finger. How is that a chance, football manager? Like, actually evaluate that. Like, think about that. Was that ever going into the back of the net? No. Why do we need to see it then? We've had an XG of 2.0, and no way they're getting a penalty. No way they're getting a penalty. This has not been the positive, happy-go-lucky start to the season I was wanting. I, I mean, I wasn't expecting... A brilliant performance but i think i've said this before in videos I've, I'm, I'm actually i haven't i don't think i've definitely said this before in videos okay it's not a penalty so at least that's a wee bit of a silver lining but if we're versing manchester united i'm not expecting a win but don't give me hope football manager don't don't make me think for a second that maybe we could come away with points just just let them smash us like five nil and i'll be like oh okay fair enough they're a better side than us but you know, when we have an XG of 2.08, when they have a man sent off, when we have about 17 chances go our way and none of them end up in the back of the net, it's 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 frustrating. Don't make me frustrated. Don't do this to me. Just just make them beat us. Don't make them beat us 4-0 in a situation where we have been just as good as them. Just don't do it because I look like an idiot on camera. It's And that's... It's a... Uh, Something that I've realised that I have been looking like, ah, oh, but I don't even care, 4-0. How? That is, someone has to acknowledge in the comment section below that that is just straight up unlucky, but terrible finishing from the side, clearly. 2.08 XG, I think it was, at the end of that game. <laughs> you can't say it was the tactic. The tactic definitely didn't do a terrible job there, but, um, yeah, this, the, 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 I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's move on to the next game and maybe we'll sign a player. That we've got three million pounds in the bank account. Who can we sell? This is this is going to be fun to do on camera. Who can we get rid of? Everyone. No one wants to leave though. It's annoying. Manu, are you? Are you why are you mad? Okay, I'm going to try and get rid of him then. Let's see. See what happens. See how much money we can get. I'll see you next time when we're losing to Everton. Hopefully they don't get a man sent off and hopefully we don't get a bunch of hope and then end up losing the game 4-0. Just saying, football manager, it's frustrating. I'm a human being. Yes, we are currently second bottom of the table, but we've done some transfer deals. No, one, no one's come in, but we've sold a player for £14.75 million pounds, and that is a good deal, deal if I do say so myself, considering the fact that we brought him in on a free. He wasn't a great player. He wasn't outstanding he was he was solid i'm not gonna lie he was you know a bit of an okay player but he didn't have a huge amount of potential maybe four star potential so I mean, we've got enough options out there 14.75 million pounds is definitely a good deal and this is the squad that we're going with for this next game edge hills moved up top this time we've brought carter in as the new player in that shadow striker role he is our he's our signing he's our player and I'm hoping that he does bits for us this year. And I'm hoping that he does an alright job. Even though he's playing in not exactly his preferred role. I was hoping that Deb Nam would be back completely for this game. But I think I might just have to put him onto the bench for now. Trying to think if I'm missing anyone that probably should be in the starting lineup. Nah. 
nah, they'll, they'll all survive. On the binge, Ajiti has made his way into the squad. Aside from that, it's just about the exact same team. Seems illogical considering the fact that we didn't didn't play very well at all in the last game. Tell, tell me again why why I'm using this <laughs> tactic again. We'll give it a we'll give it a crack. We have Edgehill and um and Carter to move it out to a left and right hand side sort of fo formation if we do have to. So th there's definitely an option in there. We've also moved Maravel back to a what is he on? Anchorman, Anchorman got there eventually because that's what worked for us last season. So I'm hoping that works for us again this year. I mean, playing him as a deep line playmaker didn't work early on, but Steve Carter seems to be working today as he has come away with his maybe even his first touch for Salford City, certainly his first goal for Salford. Don't know why it says his third goal of the season. I'm pretty sure he scored two potentially in the cup competition for who was he with? Norwich, I guess. So. I don't care how many he scored previously. I care that he scored that goal, and I care that our right back Hedgy has gotten his first assist of the season as well. This is a positive start to say the least. I mean, it, it, it based off the stats was completely against the run of play, and based off the fact that they're coming at us now, it solidifies the fact that it was probably just against the run of play. But I don't care. It's a win. It's a win, and if we can hold on to this result, it will be a win. Four shots to our one. It's, it was definitely against the run of play, but we've got a higher XG, so you can't really complain. I mean, who's okay now? The XG is higher. Maybe we should be changing the tactics. Let's move back down to slightly shorter passing, like we did last game. That really did make a difference against Manchester United, and maybe it can do the exact. That is not a penalty. You, can, what did he do? Like, I mean, if it, that one was inside the box, I'm pretty certain. But what did he do? What did he actually do? Tell me what he did. Tell me what he did. I would like the football manager referee to explain to me how that is not a that was a brilliant decision. Apparently it was outside of the box. It was a foul outside of the box. You know what? It's not going into the back of the net. So let's disagree with them. I, I, I was actually hoping to give get, get the, an explanation so I could explain it politely to you guys. Could I could understand you were all very confused. Um, so, of course, I wanted to help you out however I... However, I could there, but um, but no, it's uh, it's too complex, too complex. Don't don't you all worry about it. Going back down to a slightly shorter passing has has not helped us at all. I mean, I was about to say if anything, it's made it worse. It just hasn't. We've still only had one shot. They're still shooting towards our goal quite often, and they're coming in with their second opportunity of this half. They've played a ball in, but unfortunately. For I realise I don't have a camera, so like me going silent like this just isn't ideal for video purposes. But my my head bowed down in utter disappointment. It's it's not even bad. It's just so unlucky. It's gone straight to them, and they've, they've, they've yeah they've hit it. And you've seen what happened. We don't, we don't need to do a do a synopsis on it, do we? No, definitely not. We're gonna try and move into this winger. Formation. I feel like it does make sense based off the players that we do have at our disposable, a disposable disposal right now. Let's move Maribel into a deep line playmaker on defend. Ajita can be our Mazala on attack, and y Yanez can be our box to box midfielder. I think that that actually suits the team more, but I just haven't seen a lot of positiveness from using this tactic lately. But I mean, realistically, nothing can be worse than this. We we came away with one lucky chance. One shot, it found the back, it found the back of the net. We've gone on to the tiki taka approach. Yeah, no, that's that's not what I mean to do. Let's stay on this gag and press that we've been using the formation that has been working previously in different series could be working today with this tactical approach. I mean, it, only time will tell, and it's going to be likely that we'll you know sit back after this and think that was dumb. Probably shouldn't have done that, but it, yeah, yeah, it's equally as likely that we'll say. Recto, you were a genius. You should have done that earlier. So I'm not going to be having a genius moment now because I do want to make a tactical change, but I'm not sure who to bring off. Who's not playing well? This this would be helpful if I took a look. The strikers aren't having the best day at the office. I don't feel like there's anyone in particular that would do a better job, though. Garmin's not playing well. Can't really, don't really have a reserve left back. So th this is... Oh, tactical stuff that should have been <laughs> thought about before the game. But we're going to bring Voigt on. He can play as an advanced forward instead of 
instead of uh, Fabio Silva. Not even a great start to the season. I mean, to be fair to him, it, we have been versing Everton and Manchester United. Not two easy sides to be versing early on in the season, but I would have liked to have seen him pop up and score a goal in one of these two games. Maybe he could in the next one, but he's definitely not scoring in this one because he's just been taken off. But we're on the ball right now, so there's promising signs, to say the least. I mean, it's po promising uh, than previously, so... I'll, I'll take what I can get. We have given it away, but that is still promising than what we were seeing before. Clive on the ball, racing past all of our players. Braithwaite thinks he gets there, and he just can't. Oh, no, no, why? See, it's it's the same situation. Football manager, don't give me hope if you're just going to take it away. Like I don't need it in my life, and I've I've stupidly put Carter as an inside forward when he should be playing as a winger on support. And uh, I think that tactical change is going to be the one to get us the goal. I'm, I'm uh, actually, I'm positive of it. I think that's what we needed in this game. I think we just needed a winger on support out on that right hand side, and here he is trying to whip in a ball. See, that's he's won a corner. It's it's positive. It's very very positive. And we're actually going to no, nah, okay, gonna say we were going to see that corner. Didn't end up seeing it. Agedia to throw put in the. Have we got a penalty? Have we got a penalty? We may have gotten a penalty, and and in this situation, I saw I saw everything that happened. I don't need any explanation about how that was a penalty. I couldn't I couldn't agree more. Brilliant, great decision. Okay, who's going to be taking it? Ajit is like the only one with any sort of pen penal taking ability, so it's got to be him. He's stepping up to the plate in the second game of the season. He could turn himself into a hero right here, right now, to score his first goal of the year. <laughs> He doesn't do it. He doesn't. Football manager, why? <laughs> See, they just they just give me hope and then literally take it away. It's like giving candy to a baby and then taking it away. It's not even like stealing candy from a baby. It's 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 physically giving candy to said baby and then saying nah, nah. I I would like that candy back. A, a draw would be magnificent. Magnificent? It's not even a word. I'm making up words here because I'm so stressed about the result. It would be magnificent. It's not going to happen though, is it? They're at us again. And they could be in with an opportunity, but we get it back. Could, no, okay. Again, they're just giving me hope and then they, they hit it over the bar. So at least at least that's it's mildly positive. Voigt's going to move out onto that left-hand side. Perry's going to move up top. And we're going to try and go onto a counter-attacking system. Well... Not really counter-attacking, but more direct, I guess you could say. Graven Birch is going to play the last few minutes. Ajita, I'm sickened by your performance based off that penalty miss. Four minutes to go. Let's go very attacking. What what have we got to lose? I mean, our dignity? It's already gone. It's, it was gone a while ago. It didn't do anything. A full-time whistle was blown, and it's 2-1. I'm not actually hugely disappointed with those two games, but it's not... A good start to the season. We're down in second bottom place. Yeah, it's 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 not it's not great, is it? It's it's really not. Hopefully, we're doing better next time we see each other, and we will be meeting each other back when we are closing the transfer window. So that will be. Ah, uh, I guess I'll play this Bournemouth game, then simulate the transfer window, and then play against. Sound like a plan? You don't really have a choice. That's what we're going to be doing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you have liked and subscribed if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you all.